Gull colonies in the Mediterranean, as anywhere else in the world, are busy, noisy places full of activity as parent birds come and go, tending their chicks. They're also messy, smelly places with droppings, misplaced bits of half-digested fish and dead bodies lying about all over the place. In short, for flies and ants, they are very heaven. And beside some gull colonies, you may find one of these. This is not an image of a sexy, seductive female animal. The mimicry is more gruesome. This is a bogus corpse, mimicking rotting flesh covered with hair and giving off the putrid smell of carrion. It's the dead horse, Aram. Blowflies find this highly attractive. They need to find a hole to get into a corpse, and this seems to be one. Within are a whole cluster of tiny flowers. Those at the top are male, but they're not yet ripe. Below is a barricade of spines, and below them, the female flowers. Some of the flies have already visited such a flower as this and are carrying cargoes of pollen. Down here, in a real corpse, they might have found succulent rotting flesh on which to feast and lay their eggs so that later their maggots could also feed, but they find nothing. As they continue to search, pollen brushes off them onto the stigmas. The spikes discourage them from getting out. By now it's getting dark and flies don't fly at night, they're stuck. During the night, the male flowers suddenly shed their pollen. And during the night too, the spikes of the barricade shrivel. So by the morning, the flies are free to go. And each takes with it a load of pollen from the male flowers. <laughs> 